All right, I got the maintainer, the battery maintainer hooked up to my son's motorcycle so he can ride. And thank you for riding along with us on Tech Garage, brought to you by rockauto.com. Well, what better to talk about than batteries on this week's Master Technician Tech Tip, hashtag MTTT. It's all about the batteries. What does a battery do? Well, it supplies all the electrical power when the car's not running. And unfortunately today, well, the cars are riddled with electronics and the battery kind of has to take over the load for the alternator when it can't keep up. So they get beat up quite a bit. I want to show you what's going on. There's different configurations of batteries. There are different types of batteries. This one's a lead acid. RockAuto.com, they got AGM batteries. They got some top-notch batteries, so we don't have that problem. But check this one out. You got top post right here, or you got side post batteries. That's the basics. But if you look inside here, this is really cool. It's cut away. So what you have in there is you have a bunch of plates covered with some materials. It's pretty complicated, brown and gray sponge lead. And through a chemical reaction with the sulfuric acid and water, well, that makes pressure, electronic pressure. But when it does that, as the battery starts to go dead, these plates, they start flaking away. Well, what happens then? Take a look at this right here. You see all this inside of here? This is where the plates all deteriorated and started to flake away. Not a good thing. When that starts to flake away and if your battery's not held down real good, well, all that ends up in the bottom of the case and positive and negative plates can't touch. So once they start touching, your battery starts shorting out. So what do we do? Well, here's a couple of tech tips for you. You can check what's called open circuit voltage, OCV. Super easy to do. Just take any voltmeter and go across the terminals from the positive to the negative. Nothing on, just OCV, open circuit voltage right there. And you can see this one's around 12.6, that's great. But here's what's actually stunning. This is crazy. Take a look at this chart right here. You would think that a dead battery would be about six volts, wouldn't you? Well, that's not the case. Look at a fully charged, it's 12.65. 50% charged is 12.24. And a zero dead battery really can't put out any cold cranking amps. Man, that's 11.89. So it doesn't take much to kill a battery. So what do you wanna do? Here's another tech tip for you. You can actually tech voltage drop. Now voltage drop is pretty cool. You can go right across the terminal here, the two top terminals. So I'm going to go across the battery and I'm going to go across the cable right there. Then you're going to have somebody crank up the car and when they're cranking up the car, you're going to look down at the meter. You don't want anything more than five tenths of a volt voltage drop or you got a loose connection. You need to track that down. A couple other tips for you. If you're messing with the battery, you can go to rockauto.com, get all these tools. You can go ahead and get a cleaner right here. This is pretty cool because you can take the cable off and you can clean the top post of the battery and right on the other side I can get inside there and clean the inside out so I can make sure I don't have any voltage drops or problems with that now you've probably done this a time or two you carry a battery you're dragging it along the side of your pants you go put it in the car wonderful everything's great wash your laundry come out there's these little holes in the side of your pants what's going on well some of that lead acid got onto your pants and boom your wife's chewing you out because you got holes in your pants well no more rockauto.com voila battery holder, pick it up, squeezes the battery, tote it around with ease. That's the easy part. Now, how are you going to prevent from that flaking? It's really good to get a trickle charger on your car. And we happen to have a problem with our Lincoln right here at Tech Garage. Josh, what's our problem? That problem is leaving me drained. <laughs> Talking about batteries. Good one. Drain. <laughs> well, I'm tired of jumping off this Lincoln. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook up this trickle charger, but I'm going to use the special terminal here. Right. Because I'm tired of hooking up these, term, these types of terminals that keep popping off. So if you'll let me have those, I'll be on my way and I'll make a permanent fix for our leaking. Yeah, there you go, and that's what's happening. So, you know, it sits a lot, it's not running a lot, and, you know, teaching at a school, it's the greatest job in the world. You got some summers off, so it sits there. It's a good idea to keep it trickle charge. Why? So it's not discharging and recharging, discharging and recharging, and you know, Josh is gonna make easy work out of installing this battery maintainer. All he has to do is disconnect the battery, remove the lugs from the battery, and then he's gonna go ahead and put on that pigtail that he made. That'll connect directly to the leads, put the battery terminals back on, secure them to the battery, and then he's gonna route the leads down. He'll tuck them down in the car for now, but eventually we'll route them out to the front of the car so we don't even have to open the hood, man. And that's gonna take care of that excessive parasitic draw.